Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kamaya Healing Spray and I have already pre-shuffled my cards. So let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what's going on with the collective today. So the first card out was the Four of Pentacles. So the first reading that I did today, the Four of Pentacles was the first card out as well. So yeah, I think either you or someone I'm channeling definitely struggling with feeling worthy, feeling like they are enough, that they have enough, really struggling with a lacking mindset. Next, we have a Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is because they've had a streak of bad luck. Um, they feel in a sense that this is a lot of bad karma that has been being sent their way just due to past decisions that they've made. But with the Ace of Pentacles here, they are hoping and praying for a new financial beginning. With the Three of Wands here, they are ready to go into the unknown and make better choices for themselves. And with the Six of Cups in reverse, you know, they've done the work that they needed. They've done some reflection on past mistakes and they know now that there is no repeating the past. There is no going back to the past. Um, they've really um, cut the chains from that toxic cycle. And then we have the Empress. They are stepping into their Empress energy and they're ready to fully embody this beautiful, loving, unconditionally loving um, energy. <laughs> Next, at the bottom of the deck, we have Justice in Reverse. So, like I said, this person is really struggling, struggling with lack and um, this sense of bad karma and bad luck. So, they just feel that justice is not on their side, um, just depending on what happened in the past. With the judgment card here, um, this unfair justice has really caused them to awaken and start to ascend spiritually. They're relying heavily uh, more on spirituality and leaning on you know higher powers in order to sort of understand their existence. With the Eight of Wands here, they're going to get um, some unexpected communication. Then we have the lovers here. This communication is going to shock them and finally open the doors for them to allow them to go after their true love. Next, we have a four of wands. Um, this new love is going to um, culminate in a marriage. And with the six of swords here, this new love is going to free them and allow them to release all emotional baggage that they've experienced in the past. With the hangsman here, I think they've been stuck for a very, very long time, you know, wanting to feel better, wanting to feel more confident and more free in the sense that they can step into um, a new chapter of their life, um, go after the things that they want in life freely, um, but they've just been hesitant about it. But with this ace of cups here, like I said, we have an Ace of Cups, we have the Lover's card, we have a Four of Wands. There's going to be a true and happy, stable commitment, stable relationship, a true everlasting love that is finally here for this person after just years of lack and being not financially sound and, you know, just having bad things happen over and over again. With the Seven of Wands here, what this person needs to learn is when and how to be defensive um and you know when to keep the peace it's okay to defend what you believe in but as long as you're acting out of the greater good for everyone who surrounds you um you don't have to worry about being too defensive there's no reason to cause additional conflict or um, trouble if it's just going to push you further and further away from being able to connect with people with the Two of Cups here, I think your defensiveness and trying to keep secrets, not being able to communicate, that is what has hindered the relationships that you've established in the past. And you are learning to open your heart and truly be ready for a new connection. 
with the hermit card here this is just a reminder to go into hermit mode when you need to if you are not feeling enough if bad things keep happening to you it's okay to take your time and retreat and reflect on the mistakes that you're making what is leading you down this wrong path you know bad luck and um running into issues and conflict are the universe's way of telling you that you are on the right path you are on the wrong path so you know what can you do to course correct to put you back on the right path for yourself next we have the tower again fully pay attention to conflict um, tower moments um, unexpected upheavals that really just show you clearly that you are dumb doing something wrong when you are on your soul's true path and when you're living from your heart and following your heart in a way that doesn't hurt other people life is happy and it moves smoothly and by following those inklings and your intuition to keep you on the right path that is what is going to lead you to your ten of pentacles your true happy stable family life that you want with a chariot here you need to find balance in order to move forward more confidently and filled with love with the devil card here you need to recognize the shadow parts of yourself recognize your devilish energy and do what you can to keep those parts of yourself in control the three of cups here you want to surround yourself with people you love who love you who have good intentions for you and with the ace of swords you want to always remind yourself to be honest and earnest and you know gain the trust of the people around you in order for them to also be honest with you with the king of pentacles through doing all of this work and accepting yourself as you truly are and starting to truly be and move through life along your soul's true path you will be able to become more financially stable and be able to provide for the ones that you love with the Queen of Cups, um, your ability to be a provider and really step into that divine masculine energy is going to attract a Queen of Cups towards you, someone who's going to be truly caring and nurturing and being able to love you in ways that you've never had before. The Ten of Cups here, that's just further confirmation that this love, after you've done all this work that you need to do, this love will be true and everlasting with an ace of wands this is going to be a big change a new and happy beginning for your entire life bringing you into a really prosperous new chapter with the nine of pentacles this is also just a reminder in order to be a good person in a partnership you yourself have to become the best possible version of yourself you have to be prosperous and happy on your own in order to attract someone who is also prosperous and happy on their own with the five of swords here this is just a reminder to you know not reflect so heavily on the past and mistakes that you've made or how you've been hurt in your past because that is only going to hurt you in the long run so i think this is that the message for this is quite clear it's just focusing on you know going deep within yourself and recognizing what changes you need to make in your life in order to you know embody your divine feminine energy in order to be more financially stable in order to be the best possible version of yourself so that when you do meet your true love your one life partner that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with you guys will be able to match energetically and be able to move forward into the future together happily so with that said i think i'm being called to my work your life oracle deck so i'm just going to get one or two cards to see what do your spirit guides think um you should be focusing on as you continue to move through this journey and heal to attract that new love into your life, what you should you be focusing on. All right. We got two cards. Oh no, we have three cards. <clears throat> Is that it? Yeah, three cards. So first off, we have protection. Call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. So 
This is for anyone who is still dealing with exes who are trying to hold you back. Anyone with karmic family members, karmic friends that are trying to hold you back and keep you in lower toxic energies. People who, you know, want you to keep dating a ton of people at the same time. People who want you to keep partying that don't want you to do the work. People that put down your ideas of going to therapy or, you know, just doing some work to better yourself. Anyone who doesn't understand or can't support you as you do things to be a better person and take care of your mental health should be a huge red flag. Next we have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So just pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and who you surround yourself with. I think if you truly pay attention and tap into your own intuition, you will be able to pick up on who genuinely cares about you and who doesn't. Um, you are being surrounded by your ancestors and people who truly do love and care about you. So truly trust when you're getting these weird niggling feelings about who may be acting shady behind your back and um, who truly doesn't have the best intentions for you in their heart. And lastly, we have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So this is about being brave enough to take that next step, being able to not be afraid of getting this love that you want, because obviously being exactly who you are right now is doing nothing but causing repeated cycles of bad karma and putting you back into bad situations where you're dealing with the same type of people. So in order to get a true and happy love that's going to be different from anything that you've experienced so far, you need to change who you are as a person and turn, transform yourself into someone who is truly deserving and can also give the type of love that you want to receive to another person. So definitely keep all of that in mind. That is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel as well as get our videos out to more and more viewers. Um, if anything resonated and you are brand new, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.